Yeah, you um, can put a little bit more because there isn't really enough under that head. Okay, uh, this one here, huh? Oh, that one there. Michael still smiling. <laughs> okay, so tell us, Michael, what you did. So why we yeah? Well, we built up another flange section to reinforce the cracked one. So it's basically giving you double the amount of strength over there. Okay. And the issue was really just getting the holes re-drilled in the proper place so that this would go through. But we we're all good. Okay. And the top is all fine. We've got yeah. those back in. We're going to tighten it. So we'll. Uh, Fifty years usage out of that. Yeah. Looks good though, it's nice and clean, you've cleaned it up nicely. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I bought one. Yeah, cool. Okay. Just want to show you. This camera just tune itself in. There we are, it's tuned in. So you can see the I've attached uh, attached the roller furler through this pin here. This is the other four stay that I've got for the number three jib. It goes all the way up. So I've got two four stays here. And you can see here, where I'm pointing. I've put a new cotton pin in. And this is where we put the hook for the, the tack for the. Uh, I know I had it, I'll let you know I had it there. The big lightweight Jenica. So now we're ready to tension the rig both aft and there's still one thing I need to do is I need to look at the rig. You can see how the mast is bent slightly like this. That's how it's supposed to be. in a rather peculiar position at the moment as you can see but I wanted to just show you before we put the chain back on how this whole thing works in the four peak um, those of you that might not know so have a look follow me there's the chain that I've attached you can see I've put an eye bolt in through the bulkhead with a shackle and the chain is attached to the shackle so what will happen is We've got about 60 meters of chain. So once the chain runs to its end, if it ever goes that far, that's it. That's as far as it's going to go. So it ain't, it's not going to go any further. Okay. So now, we'll follow the chain up, goes through there. That is the windlass, the electrical windlass and the chain will start heating up here in the forepeak. I've cleaned out the forepeak and uh, right in the front and if you can see right in the front there is where we've put the prepared the bow roller put the new chain plate on etc for the bow roller etc. So now I'm busy loading the chain back on and the chain's going to go in here. So follow me just to show you, there's the chain, chains on the jetty, there's the anchor, so now this chain has to go back inside the anchor locker and on a boat this size the, uh, the chain is, uh, the anchor is quite heavy and the chain's quite heavy so that's why I installed an electric windlass does all the work for me. So you can see where it fits on. Got two buttons and I can control it from the cockpit. This is the chain if I let it out. This is the chain with the arrow coming in. So now you can see
that's it. Okay. How's it going? Yeah. Move the anchor back. So just to show you, there's the chain, all heaped up. All heaped up uh, in the power roller. And uh, yeah. So obviously as we sail, this will just that's it. There we have it. So yeah, there we are. So this is an extra section in the four peak where the chain locker is. Um, those are the red cables are the cables for the windlass, the electric windlass. And now you can see we've got nearly 60 meters of chain that's marked in 10 meter increments. So one white mark for 10 meters, two for 20, etc. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the short little video. We'll see you with the next informative one. Cheers. Bye. There you can see, taken out the, the four peak mattress. Behind the mirror is the chain locker. And uh, yes, so we can put the mattress everything back in again. And chain and the bow roller all sorted out. <laughs>